Hello friends at home. In this video, I will be going over this words with O, O, O page. As you know, um, when we put two O's together, we make two different sounds. The first sound is O, which is what all of our words this week have, the O sound. And the other sound that O, O can make is the O sound, which when we come back from Easter break, our words will focus on the oo sound. So right now we are oo, uh, and when we come back, we'll be oo. Okay? So it says here, uh, words with oo. Uh, I'm going to put my name at the top because the first thing I do is always the same. I take out my pencil and write down my name. What's up, Dominic? Dominic. Dominic said there's a name down there. And you know what? Every page this week has it. I just haven't been good at spotting it. So if you want to write your name on the actual name line, that would probably be the best place for it. What do you need, Austin? Yes. All right. So both of our language arts pages today are going to be these uh, filling in the blanks. This one is going to deal with our spelling words, those uh words. And then the other one that I'll talk about in the next video is going to be dealing with those um, possessive pronouns that we've been learning about. So let's take a look here. Um, I'll do the first one with you, and then the rest you can probably figure out on your own. This one, not only can you read the sentence and kind of try to decipher what the word probably would be, but you can also look at the picture, and that will help you visualize as well. Beckett, do you have a question? Oh, you want to do it for us. Okay, so what do you think, uh, blank at that bug, what do you think the word we would fill in would be? Look, right? And here, she's looking through the um, magnifying glass or the hand lens. So this is the word look. So when we write it on the line, because it is the first word in our sentence, what must it have, Becca? In uppercase. Now, the rest of our words will not be the first word, so the rest of them you're fine to do all lowercase. But because this is the first word in our sentence, we will need an uppercase L for the O sound in look. Then we put our O, O, knowing that O, O together make the O sound. And then finally, we have the K, K, K sound. So we have O, O, K, look at that bug. So we used the word look, and then we'll go on to the next one. I'm fairly confident you'll be able to complete these ones on your own. Make sure that you use nice handwriting and that the words are spelled correctly. What I have seen some of you do, you're not using the word bank to help you with the spelling of the words. You just try to do kids spelling. Because these are our spelling words this week, they must be spelled correctly or they're wrong. So when you go to write the words, make sure that you're using that double O, O uh sound and make sure that you're checking to spell them correctly because if you do write them, even if it's the right word, but it's not spelled correctly, it will be marked wrong, okay? And when you're done filling in the blanks, you can color the pictures on that page, okay? Bye, friends at home.